duties are described in section 607 of the township plan and code. That would be the motion if you choose to uh, this to designate the duty and function of the planning commission as you move forward. Uh, Doug, so moved. Uh, Zach seconded. Uh, Dave, Doug, and Zach, yes. Any comments or questions on this? <laughs> so his motion was actually to approve or deny. Well, it sounds like it sounds like the there was an intent to say either approve it or deny it, uh, but the vote went on, and the motion technically says both, which means there was no real motion. That's what I get out of that. So if this is told, I mean, as you said, taken from the tape. Mm, it's directly taken from the uh, video. Technically, I would call it a non-motion. That's not the intention of the board. Some of you, some of you were here. Well, I know, but I, I understand what. If like, things are worded and written and presented, I in understand. Video, That's why we have an attorney here. He can address it. Did you see this? Or? I, I just, I got a copy of it. I mean, so I guess the, if the, the planning commission is unclear on whether or not the supervisors are asking them to consider this, the supervisors are here, and they're indicating that it is their intent. Uh, there's no action being taken by the, the planning commission at tonight's meeting. Um, there's no vote. There's nothing of that. If it needs to be clarified at the township's next meeting uh, before you guys meet again, which I assume that's going to happen anyway, I'll recommend that a clear motion is made uh, with their intent noted in the in the record and in the motion for the planning commission's clarification. Uh, but tonight you're not being asked to take action on anything. So whether or not you're unclear on this, I would say is, is a moot point. Any thoughts on then us proceeding with reviewing or through come to our own? Questions, thoughts, and so forth on the packet that we all were presented. I don't see why we can't continue with that. And next week is when the supervisors meet. They can review this and take a new vote on it and make it perfectly clear what their intent was. And we can do. We can proceed. You can pr proceed subject to clarification, and sure. you can wait. Well, no, I just want to put in your Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. Or you can say no. We don't believe that it has enough, and we won't. We won't entertain it at this point. You have the right to do what you want. Is everybody on board with that as a moving forward? Keith, can I? Yes. Something or make a suggestion. Um, in, in light of that information, it sounds to me like okay. Intent is one thing. But as we all know, what matters is what's in black and white. Yes. And that's the only thing that matters. And it's open for legal and executive interpretation. And can and will be applied as such, as needed. Okay? So, if their intent was to... Come on. Put it off to you guys, but they didn't actually make the motion... When, when Mr. Sweat said, they wanted to amend the motion or suggested that's how they made it, and then Doug said, okay, so move. They never made the motion. They, they didn't say to, you know, I mean, it, it, it's not done properly. I would just caution you guys, with all the controversy, I mean, look at this room. With all the controversy over this issue in this township, and all the turmoil, and all the divisiveness, that's going on. I mean, you guys are well aware of it. Okay? The lack of transparency, the lack of 
inclusion of the public and acknowledgement of their will is why we're at where we're at. I, I would, the special meetings, the executive sessions, the not following proper procedure, they, they are now passing you the torch. That torch is flaming. It's on fire. It's the hot potato. Okay? So they're passing it to you, and they, we now have the, I assume we're, we're paying the solicitor to be here with the supervisors at the planning commission meeting. So we're getting. He's not here know, with us. What's that? He's not here for us. He's not? No, sir. Who's paying him? Township's paying him, but he's here for these people. That's the point. He was asking here for the Right. Here's the point exactly. Well, wait a minute. Who asked for Mr. Yeah. Cooney to be here? The solicitor directed that he come and represent the planning commission. The solicitor directed him. No, the, the supervisor directed the attorney's office to be here and represent Right. But they're you're two separate bodies, you're two separate entities. If if the supervisors I, I've never seen all three supervisors planning commission meeting for forever. Okay? There's a reason for that. If now all of a sudden they have interest in the community and following procedure and everything, that's great. That's wonderful. That's how it should have been done from the get-go. But it hasn't. So now they want to pass the hot potato to you, but they want to make sure you guys do it right. Okay, so I would just make, and I'm just a citizen and a resident and a taxpayer, I would be very careful how you proceed. I'd be very transparent. I wouldn't be in any rush to have special meetings. You guys all have your own lives. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't need to ramrod this through. That's why you guys meet once a month to discuss things, to deliberate. And everybody knows when the public meeting is, so everybody can attend and see what's going on instead of behind closed doors. This is a really bad situation in this township, and it's very sad. Okay? And you guys, if you're going to do this, you need to be very cautious and do it the right way. And you don't want to get mixed up in how things have been done in the past. So. All that should have been done by you guys. Now you're handed this mess, and okay, here's what, what we want you to use, and do it. Really, to be honest with you, it should all be scrapped. You guys should start over and do it your own way. Yep. The fact that the supervisors are here implying imp their, their will on you or instruction on you, and having the solicitor here, and that, that's really not kosher. That's not how it's supposed to be done. If they're just going to do that anyway, they're going to tell you what to do, hand you everything, instruct you, have the solicitor instruct you, then they might as well just keep it. <coughs> Why put the... So then the, all that's doing is relieving the liability from them and putting it on you. They just want to rubber stamp. So just, you know what I mean? Proceed with caution. Because it's a mess. Thank you. If I may, I have been at all the supervisors' meetings. I've been listening to all this rhetorical stuff. I've been privy to the Facebook things that have been printed out. I've been privy to how much money has been spent on right to know, which is an exorbitant amount. And is, so far as I know, has yielded absolutely nothing except a $56 mistake. That's not true, true at all. True at all. If you're, if you're going to... I don't think you want to start that discussion. Here. I'm just simply saying Get the facts what I, straight what if you're going to... I'm just saying what I have seen. Okay? That's well, not true at all. But I've also since seen you, other things you, on Facebook that, that since go Since you brought it up, they're also paying the very same guy sitting here to be the right-to-know guy. Chevy D just said to be careful about how we proceed. Why not have a solicitor here to no, make certain that we fine. follow the rules? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, but he was sitting upstairs too, and they were supposed to be following the rules, so that really doesn't mean that much. And you guys didn't request them to be here. You can have your own choice. So obviously, the thing that you want us to do to scrap this thing and start all over again and delay, 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 spend more money exactly. on solicit on solicitors. We don't want you to spend more to money on it. We've had five meetings, which is more than any other township in the state of Pennsylvania. Over planning and zoning. Take note. 
Which is ridiculous. It's time to come out. It's time to come out of the Stone Age and rubber rubber stamp and anything. Can I say something? Sure. If that's the case, then, sir, then why did they make a planning? Uh, what was the name of their, their committee? Uh, planning planning committee. Why, why did they do that and bypass you? If they, show, if they show up to up to snuff like you're trying to promote for these guys, That's then why, why did they bypass you in the beginning? I don't know. But we have gone, I don't know. We have gone from what? How many members start? We start with five members. Well, there seven. they are. Ask them. Why well, they bypass you? Here they are. Yeah. Why did they bypass you in the beginning? They don't make your own committee. I ain't saying nothing because it gets put on Facebook. And twist hey, you're here right, right now. now. Oh, ain't oh, ain't twisting nothing. This isn't oh, Facebook. Ain't this ain't Facebook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This ain't Facebook. Facebook. Oh, yeah. This ain't Facebook. 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 This ain't how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. never been on Facebook. No, this is an open public meeting how it should be done instead of online on Facebook. I'm going on Facebook. I've never been on Facebook either. So I'd like to know. Okay. Let's get back on the where we stand here is one, everyone here was presented with the pack to look at. And for myself, I see no wrong with at least looking at everything that's in it and seeing what's what. And as Mr. Cooney said, we're not making any decision on anything tonight. So the most I would personally like to see a motion on is that everyone take their little pockets home. No, we're look, Okay. No action yeah, will be done. Yeah. We we'll make a motion that we don't yeah. take action. <laughs> Everybody has this. Everyone has this and can read it, right? Okay. He recommended that we take these and read them and come back next month. You can you can just wait the clarification from the supervisor. Okay. If we don't need any official motion, then then I will say then nothing will be done tonight, and we, we will take this up additionally next month. There you go. So no motion, that's where it's at. Any comments or questions? Yes. Just a clarification. This uh, um, uh, suggestion for the um, for the motion uh, has a lot more in it than if I understand what I'm reading. That originally there was a very short definition for the um, planning commission. And Mr. Sweat had said, well, I think it should include this and this and this and this and this, which had another, a couple of points. One, for me, was, you know, the opportunity to deny. And then this was, this motion was moved on, seconded, and then voted on and apparently approved. Is this now our governing motion? That's something. No, that's what we're talking about going back to supervisors. I'm sorry? You're going to have to go, this specific document and the words in it are going to have to be something that they take up at their next meeting. I mean, that's out of, I mean, it has nothing to do with what we can or should do here. And it's an issue that was created in the supervised meeting, and it's going to have to be clarified in the supervised meeting. I mean, it's nothing that we, we have no say over that. But this had to do with the planning commission, not the supervisors. But it, they're the ones that create the comments. They're the ones that have to clarify. Got it. Any other comments or questions? Yes. Okay, I have something to say about what Lee said. It said that our right, to, our absorbing it right to know request. Well, we're here because of those right to know requests. With those right to know requests, we were able to determine that they did all this illegally, and it went to court at the motions court, and we got an injunction, and that's why we're at the point we're at. So when you say that all that did was come up with a fifty-three dollar mistake, you're dead wrong. And you don't know everything that's been filed, and you don't know everything that's been done. I have a, I have a question. Um, you're saying that you guys are going to take this packet and review it, which is, within, you know, you can do that. Out of the members of the board that are here, I understand there's one missing. This has been going on for months. You guys haven't already reviewed that? I can tell you I've been over with the fine tooth then. I have, and I have comments. How about the rest of you? I've read it. Keith, I, I could use a chalkboard and stick people right now. <laughs> and it's seriously to do a map. Look at what we have here. Look at this small town community. Okay? It's imploding because of this. Okay? So you got 
the Planning Commission. All right? We have citizens that are clearly against it. We have a citizens group that has an attorney that is fighting this. We have all three supervisors that have an attorney present that are here for your benefit, but yet Doug just instructed him to address what Mike said. Come on. This is ridiculous. It doesn't need to be this way. Do you guys remember? Well, no, once, so once so ago, you, you have a point, so what's the bottom line? Well, if you go if you go back originally, when there was very few people at the meeting, I asked this to be put up for a public vote. So you people knew if you took there's two thousand nine hundred and some odd citizens in this township, put it out for a public vote and you'll know how the people feel. I was told it was illegal. I was lied to. So I went to Larry Spar, the Board of Elections, and he told me it could be done. It can be done, and it should be done. You put it out for a public vote, and let us decide whether we want it or not. No, yeah. not you. Yeah. We want it for them. Right. We, mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. But we were, you know, Lee wants to sit up there and talk about that. But we've been lied to and lied to over and over again. But with those right to know requests, we've been able to prove that over and over and over again. We want our rights and we want a right to vote. Amen. Yeah. And those right to know requests are worth every penny. The fact that they're excessive could be the fact that they have to have a babysitter, which is. Really yeah, they pay somebody to sit there and do puzzles and watch while we get our information. That, does that, you know that part of it? I guarantee you that the cost of the right to no request are far exceeded by the waste of money that those right to no requests have turned over. And the massive wrongdoings or not following procedures or not illegalities of how this all came about and not following procedures. So they're worth every penny. That's what they're in place for, is to protect the people. Well, why it's called a right to know. Because of the public, we have a right to know. Yeah. And have somebody question it. No, the the thing is... I've got a comment to make on that. <clears throat> Good. Uh, we heard there a little bit ago that we live in the Stone Ages. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're not. Look what's going on. No, we don't live in the Stone Ages around here. We got people to find out what what's going right. on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's we what care. we need. We care about it. And I got another question. <coughs> I lived out 136 Dry Ridge Road all my life. There's so many forms out that ridge on Dry Ridge, and the last that I heard that I was, if this zoning passes, I'm going to be residential. My grandpa, my dad, and me all lived on, on the same family form. And all this zoning for what is going on for all of us people live out that ridge. Right there is one, Jim Burke. I've lived out there longer than anyone in this room that I can see. It ain't right. Amen to that, brother. Well, here's the thing. You can either pause, or everybody can lawyer up, the residents, the township, before it's all said and done, you'll have to get your own lawyers as a planning commission, okay, and then, then even if, if you rubber stamp it like they want, every time there's an issue, it'll be lawyers again. And everybody will be miserable except for the lawyers. It was said that the attorney was asked, the solicitor was asked to be here for your benefit. Doug just instructed him to address and respond what Mike said. He's sitting beside Doug. He's here, asked here by the supervisors against, or for another governing body against the citizens. Ooh. At whose expense? The taxpayers. You you guys said that uh, you might not even have held a meeting tonight. So how did you know to call that lawyer here? We did. We did. That's what I'm saying. 
Who 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 that wasn't no, no, he didn't. Let's not These fellas said on. they were going to have a meeting Time tonight out. to Time go out. over the MPC. I said in the past, if there were no, no plans, we would normally not have a meeting. That's correct. But at the last meeting, we agreed that, you know, as, and, and I frankly was going to turn this over to Jody, and we were going to indulge, you know, in, go into this document, discuss it, review it, whatever. That's what my understanding And you needed a lawyer for that? No, the lawyer has nothing to do with what I just said. That's what I'm saying. Why Why would you call a lawyer in here? We he did. When Doug's the one that called him. We did not. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. But Doug just said that that's your lawyer for tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused too. He said that. <laughs> no, that's what as far he said. as I know, unless somebody wants to fess up, as far as I know, no one is bored asking an attorney to be okay, here. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to clear up. Right well, there. Well, well, you answered my question right well, there. Well, I'm going to use it to see if nobody... If I'm paying him, I'd like you to ask the commission, why do they feel that the township lied to us about the rights and... or lied, lied, lied to us about this being the public vote? What benefit does it have them uh, to lie to us and say it can't be held for a public vote? Nobody ever said that. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. You listen, you listen to what I told you. Yeah. Yeah, I said I wasn't meeting you. Uh, right you can here. put a non-binding referendum is what you can do. You can do non binding or non binding. No, it cannot. No. Yes, you can. No. I talked to Larry Spar. He doesn't know. I don't know. Talk to him. Even if it was non-binding, men of honor would agree to follow the vote. And he told me an absolute spar. He told me it could absolutely not be on the ballot. So which one of us is he lying to? Because he specifically told me it could not be a referendum. Well, now Doug just said it could. Non-binding. A non-binding referendum. You could and agree to follow non-binding. But at first it was stated at an earlier meeting, what Mike's referring to, is it was said it couldn't be done. Then not after... Not, not, not a binding referendum. It was just saying it couldn't be done. It couldn't be put on the ballot. Then he, says he told me that he could that it was hard to put on the November election. Is what he said. It takes a lot to put it on there. He told me that the township can hold their own election, binding or non-binding. And that they would come and help. And they would come and help. The point is, Keith, because you weren't a lot of you guys weren't at. A lot of those meetings we were at in the early stages. We we set a plan forth or made suggestions. We asked repeatedly, month after month after month, to put it at the vote. And there was larger turnouts than this. Okay. We even made suggestion. Okay, if you don't want to put it, you say it can't be done and can't be put to vote, or don't want to put it to vote, take a census or a survey or a ballot, whatever you want to call it, a postcard to every taxpayer. Donico Township or every landowner. Anybody owns land or pays taxes in Donico Township, any residents. And take a survey. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't have no parts of it. So I said and I asked, and I asked Doug specifically, that I said, Do you mean to tell? I asked how many residents. Where I got my answer? This man right here. Just shy of three thousand. I believe Dave said at that point I because I asked Dave because he's the chairman. He didn't know. So Mike said, I said, let's just round it off for argument's sake at 3,000. Do you mean to tell me if you have 3,000 residents and you take the survey, census, whatever you want to call it, a poll, and two-thirds or three-fourths come back against it, you're still going to move forward with it? You know what the answer was? The only votes that matter are theirs. Wow. That's what we were told. The only was, votes that matter, we have no say wow. that they're not going to do it. JD, would you? Is that something that all of you guys would yes. like to see us do? That we offered to make the postcards up, <laughs> and we didn't want any parts of it. And that's well, what I'm telling you. Okay, so Mr. Cream, since you're here for us, we are, we could develop a questionnaire to start this off and send it out if we wanted to to all the residents of the township. Yes. We would like to see it with taxpayers because there are people along the borders who actually have whose property will be affected but don't live here. We would actually like to see a poll of all, all of the taxpayers, I'll go step, along with the residents. I'll go a step further, if you recall, that whoever was there. They, it was said by the board, and I'm not, I believe it was Doug, and if I'm wrong, I apologize. I try to be 100% accurate, and if I stand corrected, I will apologize. 
and, and to that person. As I remember, I think it was you, Doug, and if, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But and I, I think you looked at Tampa. How would we how would we get that information? We don't have that information. You, sure you do. You got bills. tax bills. That's exactly what my answer was. Do you recall that? I do. I do. I do too. Um, so it's simple. You got any taxpayer, any resident, you know what I mean? They should have the right. Mm -hmm. And I think I think that my suggestion was just um, are you aware of the townships trying to implement zoning? You know, name, address, tax number, parcel number, whatever information you need, okay? Are you aware? Yes or no? Do you have access to the internet to get because of the Honorable Township website? If they can get on there, I believe everything's supposed to be on there. I assume I'm not internet savvy. So, um, do you have internet access? That I also posed the question and su suggested that we start videotaping all the meetings or podcasting, webcasting, whatever, and have like an online uh, newsletter so the people that can't make it live stream it. So there can be no tampering or altering or what all of these accusations going around. Live stream it, so it's actual, so the people that can't be here, the older people, or the people that are working or whatever, can watch it, can see it. So the community can be informed and have a say. And then, are you for it, against it, or indifferent? Do you have enough knowledge or information to make a decision? Simple questions to get the facts, get the information out there, and give the people the knowledge and let them make an informed decision. We also went on to say, to further it, was we told them that we will go as far as to say, if you do that, and if we lose, because it was said time and time again, the silent majority is for it. <coughs> time and time again. And that is Doug that said that, correct? The silent majority is for that. Fine. Not question that. If that's the case, <coughs> put it in black and white. And if the majority is for it, and it passes, and they want it, not only will we quit, we wouldn't have any of this. Had that been done from the get-go, we wouldn't have any of this. <coughs> and if you did that, then we wouldn't have all these right to knows. But thank God we did, because we turned up a bunch of other stuff. So you wouldn't have any of this. But we said, if you do that, and if we lose, if the people are the majority for it, we will not only step back, but we will work with you to make it the best it can be. We will help. We will quit being against it. Not that we want it, because we don't. So I'm speaking for myself and Mike and a few others here. But if the majority wants it, we will step back, back down, back off, whatever you want to call it, and work with them to make it be the best they can be. And actually, there was at least one or two meetings or three or more that we came to that we were working with them. We were putting in input and suggestions, but then there's a lot of, I'm going to use the word shenanigans, because that seems to be a popular term <coughs> that went on, that it escalated and imploded. So that's, and I know you guys haven't been involved from day one or step, haven't been to the meeting, so I'm, I'm trying to bring you up to speed from a resident and taxpayer's standpoint and the public standpoint, not just what you have before you. Thank you. Hey, so J.D., your suggestion simply will be you would like to see a, uh, a hard card, like a postcard questionnaire of some form sent to every taxpayer. Yes. Getting results, tallying them, and then <coughs> If I had, any, if I was any member of your board, any member of the supervisors, had any say whatsoever, I think that is the most common sense, logical, reasonable, rational first step before you do anything. Before you spend twenty-five thousand dollars on hiring Karen Yagel and her firm and go through all this turmoil and get everybody's blood pressure up, that would be the smartest, best money spent that nobody, I don't think anybody would question. There would be a very low cost initial step that should have been the first step taken, in my opinion. I'd like to make a comment on that as well. I have a friend that's uh, on the Planning Commission at Prosperity, and they were asked to put zoning, and that's exactly pretty much what they did. They sent out to everybody what they were planning on doing. Of course, their zoning wasn't as massive as what they did here. It was like everything was agricultural, 
They made a residential in the village of Prosperity. The gym's stop and shop or whatever was commercial, and the guy that had the orchard asked to be commercial. You know what I mean? They didn't put residential and move make all the farmland. You know, what I mean? and that's one reason I'm here. You know, it's like they put Dry Ridge Road. You know, and did all that stuff. It's just too much. You know what I mean? Too much. Right. Well. Specifically in reference to through my through my, my through my years of working with the public, uh, you have a lot of truth in what you're saying. Uh, but then all of a sudden, when I was on the government <coughs> side, there's another part of the side you don't quite understand. Well, in light, what kind of Well, I'm not in a position to do that. Oh, we're too dumb to know. No, no, I don't. Sorry. No. We're living in the stone age. We're living in the stone age. Due respect. Due respect. There's so many loopholes and procedures that have to be run when you come into zoning because you, you're forgetting about the other side of the road. When you want a zoning coming in here and you have farmland, which we had many in Johnstown, many. We were losing it because the people, the kids didn't want to do it and the people wanted zoning. They wanted it, so maybe it was a lot easier. You know what I mean? But the thing is, um, there's a lot more, if you're going to have a zoning, there's a lot more headaches after that that you don't even know about, which I went through. Um, we had a lot of farmers there that the property was uh, grandfathered in. You can't touch it. You can't touch it. And if you want to do something here at Donacle, well, you have two 200 acre farms to here for umpteen, which you have been. Um, you still, you're not losing that right. We're not telling you what to do. We're suggesting what can go on in this community. We can't come in there and say, look, I'm sorry, you're going to have to take your cattle here because it's zoned residential. No, you still have that right to come here, talk to us, and, and beg you to keep the cattle? Is that what you're no, saying? No, that's already grandfather. That's already grandfather. Yeah, yeah, we, we got it. grandfather, but then oh, we were told in a meeting that the dust from a if one. If you let me finish. If you let me finish, I really appreciate it, sir. You keep bringing up, you're thinking that...